welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go over the US inflation data that was out today. I also want to compare it with the European data and see what, why it's like that, why there is differences and uh, what can we expect for stocks, especially the exponential growth stocks, the growth stocks, the US growth stocks that I myself invest a lot in. So uh, firstly, the expected data would be around five. So it came in at 5.4. So it's a slightly higher than expected. However, we do see that the growth is slowing down. So that means that right now it's going in the direction away from the expected hyperinflation that some some lunatics were predicting i never thought we would get hyperinflation by the way but it does mean that most likely it will slow down and it will follow the forecast that means it will start trending down so from next month i actually would expect it to to go lower now if you compare it to the eurozone what are we seeing that it already started to trend down there um, so that's great for European stocks. They can be sure that they will be able to keep borrowing cheap. Uh, so why, why is the European inflation that much lower? I mean, 5.4, 1.9, huge difference. Well, much has to do with the fact that the U.S. has, has pumped huge amounts of money, probably more than double than the Eurozone has done into their economy to revive it from COVID. Long run, is that a good thing? Uh, for a lot of people, probably yes. Um, for stocks and investors, not so much. For stocks and investors, it means if there is more money on the market, it means more people are buying, that means more inflation. And that means that if there is more inflation, the way to get inflation under control is to increase rates. If you increase rates, then stocks and companies need to loan at higher prices. And that means that uh, companies make less profit, grow less faster. So um, what's actually, it's a bit of the opposite, right? So what's good for the economy is not so good for uh, our stocks. But anyway, I have a feeling uh, it's not so huge. Also, when we look at the details, uh, where I put that or here, we look at the details, where do we see the rises in prices? So it's all, it's mainly consumer things, it's vehicles, it's stuff. Uh, otherwise, I don't see anything spectacular. Uh, I actually see already, say for gasoline, the drop already started. Um, I think for gasoline, I'm really hoping that OPEC will have an agreement uh, or OPEC plus regarding to oil because they haven't found an agreement yet on uh, increasing the amount of oil that uh, is being pumped. So that's not a good thing for oil prices, but still it started to already trend down. But yeah, it's up. <laughs> Why is it up so much? What did we see one year ago? We saw lockdown, people not taking cars, people working from home. So that's perfectly normal that we see a 50% increase. So it was just way too low one year ago. Um, but generally, yeah, you can see it, uh, uh, all items up. And here you can really see that it's starting to slow down. Uh, not so much compared from March to April. There we really, really saw panic uh, with huge sales in the stocks as a consequence, but it looks like uh, it's trending down. And when we look how the market is responding to that, so these are the US rates. Um, initially, when the news came out in the morning, what did we saw? We saw a sell-off from stocks uh, and we saw a huge pump in US rates. But actually, I'm guessing more people start to look at the details. Oh, maybe it's not so bad. And maybe they decided, okay, uh, maybe it's, it's all right. So basically what we're seeing is the rates are stable. So that means that uh, US companies will be able to keep loaning cheap for now. There is no tapering. 
from the U.S. government, from, from the U.S. Central Bank right now. So uh, that's a good thing for stocks. And uh, we can also see that here. Um, but what, yeah, the same thing uh, yeah, on, on the stock price of exponential growth stocks. So that's mainly U.S. growth stocks. Uh, like, like the ones we're buying, like Palantir um, and then other tech stocks. Tech stocks usually loan a lot of money so they can grow faster. Um, so yeah, we'd want to see uh, low interest rates on loans. And that's what we're seeing here, right here, you can see it. So there was an initial sell-off pre-market when the numbers came in and the market seems to have taken a closer look. Oh wait, the numbers are not that bad and uh, we're seeing a small uptrend so yeah a small negative in the market was to be expected um, but i think nothing worrisome i think the kind of inflation we're seeing right now is already largely priced into the market so i wouldn't expect a large sell off uh, the coming months so let me know what you think of this of of my analysis um, as you know, I think uh, this is a good thing. We're seeing slow slowdown in inflation. Uh, so I think once we see that lowering in inflation next month, that's when we're going to see more upside and it will hopefully fall together uh, with um, some uh, positive earnings in August. So thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind, this is for entertainment only. This is not investment advice. I could be the village fool telling you fairy tales. So always do your own due diligence. If you like this video, then like it, subscribe, and see you next time.